coverage and medical news. Here's Karen McKay's HealthWise at 5. It may seem like an answer to prayer when a loved one decides to get help for an addiction, but then what? How do you give that person the support that they need? Jack Britton is here today. He is a counselor at the ranch at Dove Tree. Nice to see you, Jack. Good to be here. If families are so fragile anyway, and especially at that point where they finally feel like they're getting help for a loved one, help us understand what are, what are good things to say and what things we should not say. Sure. So when sharing concern, it's important to be honest, direct, caring, and positive. And um, with those four elements, perhaps the message will be heard better, um, the person will feel supported, um, and ultimately loved, which is what we want to bring it back to. But are, are there words that we might use, we mean well, but they just are things that we shouldn't say? Right. Um, sometimes we share out of frustration or anger, and, and we're certainly prone to using phrases like, if you really cared about me, you would change. Mm -hmm. um, Language like that can be shaming, it can be belittling, uh, it can be dangerous for the other person. Um, they may feel um, less cared about um, and, and almost give them more reason to, to sort of continue on a dangerous track. And I don't, I don't mean to sound heartless, but I wonder if a lot of pa uh, families think, well, how long is it going to take you to get f fixed? You know, sure, is that they ask sure, you? of course, and of course. And, and I try to educate on process, right? Um, we all want a positive result and we're going to notice um, small positive results at, at uh, various junctions, but that ultimately we're engaged in a process. Um, we need people to kind of buy into that process, um, to give it a chance, right? Because at times it'll be challenging. Um, at times there may be ups and downs. We may not see a light at the end of the tunnel. You said something to me I thought was interesting right just before we began. You said the best thing is to be brief. That's hard for families, especially when you don't know what to say and maybe you're babbling. Yes. That's yeah. tough. There's a tendency to lecture, uh -huh. right, and a tendency to share and share and share. And it may be wise just to give it back to the person who's receiving the concern. Let them talk a little. Um, maybe not interrupt. Uh, even if they say things that are irrational or don't make sense, uh, it's okay to just listen for a little bit and to bring it back to the concern. They may feel more heard if they get a chance to, to share. 